So Dr. Jeff, you know what's happening in Israel uh, with the food and they there it is now becoming more scarce because the farmers are actually leaving to go serve at IDF. Yes. Can you uh, talk about that a little bit and um, enlighten people what's happening over there? Uh, the need is great. The farmers are, are joining the I IDF. Why? Because Israel is surrounded by enemies. Gaza was one animal, and they they were evil. They were evil. And I saw surveillance videos when I was, what they did, it, evil. But Hezbollah, up in up in Lebanon is a completely different animal. They have a couple of hundred thousand rockets, sophisticated rockets aimed at Israel. They have a more sophisticated army than Hamas. And this one is going to be big. I mean, Gaza was a big war and, and there it's still going on, wrapping up. We pray that it'll it'll end soon. But Hezbollah is another thing. And uh, so we just have to pray. What we do, we provide food. For example, I was sharing with you earlier, one of the areas that we minister is up in Haifa. We we help feed around 70 plus uh, uh, Holocaust survivors. And our team and colleagues that we work with up there, they have found underground bomb shelters. Not if, but when the the full barrage of rockets come from Hezbollah, uh, they will take these 70 plus uh, survivors and relocate them to these underground shelters. Okay, well, they have to eat something. And anyway, the food that they will be eating is in part, in great part, food that we have provided. And so this is what we do. The need is great. Uh, people say, well, isn't Israel, aren't they rich? Aren't they? No, they're the only democracy in the Middle East. No middle class. Food expenses are off the charts. People can barely buy food. They have a great military. They need a great military. The United States helps some with that because uh, they are surrounded by enemies. And, and the enemies are fierce. The enemies are evil. And uh, and do you know I did I did research. I was asked, well, didn't they start all these wars? No, no, no. All the skirmishes I listed. I have a list of all the skirmishes, all the wars that Israel has been involved in. Not Nancy. Not one war did Israel start. Not one. They were always attacked and they defended themselves. But the world thinks because of the propaganda because of the anti-Semitism, that they are apartheid, which is nonsense. Israeli Arabs who are citizens, Arabs who are citizens of Israel, have all the freedoms that a democracy offers. There's no apartheid. What about the Palestinians? They're not a religious group nor an ethnic group. They're simply Arabs. Jordanians are Arabs. Egyptians are Arabs. Palestinians are Arabs, but they have embraced a political ideology to wipe Israel off the map, to kill all the Jews. And the chant from the river to the sea, this is what is being said out there in the universities. Wipe them out. They don't know what they're saying. So just to put things in context, Israel is only defending herself. She is a democracy. And all citizens of Israel have all the freedoms that a democracy offers. So, food is expensive. We stand in the gap. And you're known by what you do in Israel. And they know what we do. And we have earned the right to speak. That means to share the gospel. This is a, just a brief hopefully a brief understanding of what's going on.